it's apart. It looks like he had an electric fence. I mean, you can see a shed ripped apart over there. A couple trees broke. This little Bradford. You can see some monster big trees that kind of fell down. So, oh Lord, we're about to find out what this is. God only knows. Okay, so you can see all the big, huge piles of brush. There's a couple logs. Um, down here, we'll pull down there. I'll give you a closer view of that. But look. His, he had a whole back patio here that was there at one point and it's over about a couple acres away on a fence line the whole patio flew off busted out windows all kinds of stuff there you know tore this tree up tore that tree up everything uprooted like these trees here him and his buddies cut them up yesterday or the day before very capable of doing this kind of work He's done a ton of it already. So, I mean, it's it's unreal though. And this, this kind of stuff is crazy to me. This cherry, I mean, look back up towards the house. Look at, it's, it's just insane. There was a playground here. The tree went through it. The other one laid on top of it. You know, the sweet gum there's all tore up. Same thing with the other one over there. And then there's this wild cherry here that's got the tops all snapped out and twisted up in it but they seem like they're pretty good with a chainsaw i think they're they seem like they're going to be all right with that and if you look on the back side of the swimming pool way back here is the roof to this the whole top it's on that fence line right there you can kind of see it on the fence over the top of the pool i'll try to get a shot of it with the camera when we leave <laughs> here's what we got and like I said I I'm so look so look at this this is over the top of us right now by quite a bit and then check out this lean this is insane okay let's see if I can get so here is straight you know now look at this look at that lean it's almost it's like a 45 if not if not more it is so gnarly oh wow dang the roots totally lifted up here you can see they lifted put it towards the the shed and it also is sweat dude cracked all the way down that and then it's a codom as well and it goes way down into there i don't even know how far down that goes but take our time
right out. Look, it goes way up over the shed. So I have a flat back on this right here to get flex room. That's just time I gotta do it. I'm gonna have to make my cut. I'm gonna leave more on this side because I need it to hold and swing. Get away from this shed, chicken coop on that side. I'll make my cut, run down, jack it up. Voila. Oh, there's the stump, like I said, I wanted to keep a little more to this side so that it actually held because all the weight was going this way. So we, I mean, we took it the total opposite direction it was going. Went over real good. So, it's the next one. It arcs back towards the shed pretty hard over that way. I just want to send it that way at my truck. to do something else I'd be in trouble. Yeah. I don't know much more than tree work. <laughs> I think that's probably what God put me here for. I ain't good at much else. As I said, as I was telling my wife, I wouldn't have a clue where to start. <laughs> no clue. And you're up scaling it. I would have done that. To tell you the truth, I would have done that. Probably would have been less than half that time. And I would have done it completely different if I'd had help. My helper was busy today. We'd have rigged it out. I'd actually set up a zip line just out into the yard somewhere and anchored it in one of them trees. And then anchored it up in the top and I got these little straps. I just clip it on that line and let it ride. Yeah. This has such a beautiful place. It's amazing. And it's just so sucky to see all these trees doing this. this stupid tornado. There's that big pine there. I imagine it was either that pine or that one. Or actually, there's a three of them it looks like he lost. Look at that. That pine busted. Looks like that, that there actually looks like it may have came out of that. I think that was from there. There's the log from this one. There's the log from probably that. Oh, there's two right there. Yeah, man, he ended up with a bunch of dead pines. There's two stumps there. You see all the work that they did. They worked their tail off. Him and uh, some buddies, he said. Um, and they worked their butt off to get all this done because, I mean, I know how long it just took me to do one co-dominant pine. And it looks like they did 20 or 30 or, like 20 or 30 trees, it looks like. And they just worked their tail off. What's kind of a bit tougher than it should have been but the solo work is always like that really been enjoying um, the uh, the head units from Josh man 
they're just man they're so awesome that's the end of my day but, ah, look at this mess now remember me saying there in his backyard his porch and stuff that was back there that was a full porch that's on that fence line right there it flew that whole way you can see all the boards and stuff where it bounced it's just insane to me. But yeah. This old Bradford. Nashton too. Oh, Bradford over here. By the fence. And you can see he actually has a hydraulic fence. Like probably electric hydraulic, but uh where he used to have an automatic fence and like a key code to get in and it just destroyed it. Tornadoes are no joke, man. I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan. So, same thing over at this place. It looks like pretty chaotic with his trees. But look, now we can we can get a look at what I was talking about. You can see that deck. That's his entire deck. Get a back patio, and it just strode it all across the field, and then stuck in the fence line there where the trees kind of caught it. Um, that used to be a beautiful